Hi guys, today I'm going to share with something with you which many people have been waiting for. It's to add the search functionality to your graph database that is Neo4j. So let's get started. Uh, right now Neo4j, the community is trying really hard to uh, integrate the search feature to it and hopefully we'll see that in the near future but if there's an immediate requirement if you have, there's an option. Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is a search server based on Lucene and it gives you the power to add indexing functionality to your database and uh, hence add the search feature to your application. So let's get started. Uh, the initial set uh, setup will need a couple of things. So one of the things is to download Neo4j and uh, also there are different variations of downloading the Neo4j. Uh, the one that's recommended for this purpose in this example is to download the zip file or the tar file of the Neo4j itself and you can go to their website click the download Neo4j and uh, you can see it in the other releases and here you will see like different versions so, uh, for this purpose I'm actually using 2.2.7 um, because uh, I'm still having some issues with 2.3.1 to integrate the new uh, Elasticsearch with it but 2.2.7 uh, is working uh, since my system is Mac uh, uh, I'll download the tar file for that and for Windows the uh, zip file is recommended so I've already done that and placed that on the desktop uh, apart from that you need to install the Elasticsearch so you can go through their website uh, where the uh, how to download the elastic search uh, is mentioned uh, if you are uh, on mac just like me uh, the, the installation is very easy using homebrew and uh, i have already done that and we will file the server in a couple of minutes apart from that uh, uh, next thing we have to do is uh, we have to clone this repository neo4j dash elastic search and you can consider is this as a connector between the Neo4j and Elasticsearch and this has been created by the contributors and the people in the community of Neo4j it's an excellent connector and uh, documentation is just straightforward and we'll go through step by step so first of all I'll have to clone this so uh, it just be here this is clone and I will go into the Neo4j Elasticsearch folder after this as it mentions that it, we have to run this command although I don't have exactly an idea of what this command does but uh, uh, as you will see the, in the logs it creates many jar files and uh, we'll just be transferring them from new, this repository to the Neo4j database it'll just take a couple of minutes alright we're done uh, so as I mentioned second step is to copy the jar files in this folder of uh, Neo4j Elasticsearch into the Neo4j instance plugins folders okay so let's do that so here's the Neo4j Elastic search repo folder and here's the db itself so it's set that inside the target dependencies so we got all these jar files that was just generated we have to paste it in the plugins folder of the db okay that's done second step third step is to copy this uh, jar file with the snapshot to the plugins okay so let's do that and here's the file Okay, that's also done. Now we have to modify the comfort dash neo4j dot properties accordingly. Here's an example. Okay, so let me open my editor real quick. Um, so I have to go into the neo4j. Sorry, um, community. Yeah. as my editor was opening so let, let's see what, what the example is telling us so 
so we have to mention two things uh, first of all the elasticsearch.host name and http localhost means uh, on which uh, what is the port and the link where the elastic search uh, server is running and then we have to specify the indexes uh, so here in this example we have uh, a people index which is uh, applied on the nodes with the person label as we usually see in the neo4j and on the person label node uh, we'll be indexing the first name and the last name attribute and the second index is uh, the index name in the last search would be places it's indexing the uh, uh, nodes with the place uh, label and inside there is indexing the name attribute so let's try to do that uh, for the purpose of uh, this example uh, we'll be using the sample data that comes within the, the neo4j when you install it it's, that's from the matrix movie uh, so let me just uh, uh, start the uh, neo4j server real quick so yeah started the neo4j server it's running on localhost uh, 7474 if we check that in the browser so we get this until this point everything is working fine now we got the last step of modifying this uh, new 4 dot properties um, so I have uh, this pre-written uh, command and I will just explain what it does so we'll just copy that and paste it up here and save it okay so what this is doing is uh, first of all we have specify which is the host what's the host name of the where the elastic search is running uh, which is by default is the localhost 9200 port and the index specification so we are creating a elastic search index called people on the nodes which have a label of person and on that on those nodes we are indexing the name attribute um, and uh, similarly for the movies we, uh, we are creating the index movie which is uh, index the nodes with the label movie and on those movie we are indexing the title so we are able to search the person either by name or search the movie by title so we have saved that and i think we have to restart the new 4 server okay so let's do that And meanwhile, I'll start the Elasticsearch server. Uh, okay, and uh, just Elasticsearch, and it will start the server. Okay. Okay. So we have restarted the new 4 j server. Elasticsearch is running fine let's just uh, refresh this no errors whatsoever and uh, let's load up the sample data so when we go to the start learning graph database okay um, I think is that create the graph so yeah we'll be using this movie graph what you have to do is just click on this and it will create the movie graph just a second nothing everything is working fine until now so the reason it's Taking, it took a little bit of time because it's not just creating the graph with the nodes and relationships but it's also indexing at the same time uh, so like uh, we'll see here's the person is created the movie is created okay and we'll look into that so as you can see here the nodes are there so the this yellow ones are the movie the uh, pink ones are the person and uh, we see the movies have the title which we have indexed and the person they have a name which we have indexed now to check those and like to uh, do the searching uh, let's go into the postman rest line okay and uh, here i'll just create a kind of collection of sample rest api so uh, let's see 
uh, just to check there is a movie index okay we got the movie index so it shows like the shards and replicas everything's fine uh, let's just search for a movie so this will search for all movies so it will return all the movies that have been indexed so you can see that there is a title of it uh, Cloud Atlas, Johnny Mnemonic okay and suppose if you want to search for one specific movie like the matrix we will add uh, the query so this is the elastic search rest api uh, we add a question mark q is equals to title where title is matrix so title is index and here's the matrix and you can see it has a score index index type id and what are the labels and and it uh, returns on the base on the particular descending order of the score so this is 1.40 this is 1.35 that's for the movie uh, let's try that for the people so let's first check if we have the people index and yes we do and uh, apart from that let's look if it returns all the people that have been indexed okay so there are this yeah we got all the people let's search for uh, people with the name tom hanks so although we search for tom hanks and we got that here it also returned the people with the name tom so it does the partial search also so that's really cool and uh, you can see the score of Tom Hanks is 2.65. This one because it just has Tom, so it has 6.88. Uh, it has an index uh, and the index type, the ID, so everything is there. And uh, this gives a tremendous opportunity to do the full text search also. So yeah, that's how it is to integrate uh, to connect Neo4j with Elasticsearch to add search functionality. Thanks.